physics plays a big role in the sport of curling. Hey Dick, what are you doing? I'm enjoying some time at the curling rink. Cool. Have you been paying attention to how much physics there is in the sport of curling? I know that friction plays a big role in the sport of curling. You're right. But think about it. Imagine we took a glass, we turned it upside down, and slid it across the table and gave it a spin. In which direction would it curl? I'd say it would go opposite the direction of the spin because as it's going forward, the leading edge holds the most friction because it's tipping forward, and as it's spinning, the direction it's spinning causes more friction, so it's going to go in the opposite direction. I think you're right. But what about a curling stone? Wouldn't it just do the same thing? Actually, it would curl in the direction of the spin. Curl in the direction of the spin? Are you a physicist? No, but I grew up curling in Russia. Wait, I'm, how does that work? Why don't you come down to the ice with me and see for yourself? So, Professor, you told me that a curling stone curls differently than an overturned glass on a table. Why is that? Well, the curling stone, when it spins, it's melting the ice underneath it just slightly. And that melted ice, it refreezes on the back side. So it turns out that the frictional force is greater on the back side of the curling stone, which pushes the curling stone in the opposite direction. I get it now. It's all about friction. Professor, what else can you teach me to better my game? Well, one of the more interesting physical phenomena in curling is what curlers call the drag effect. Oh, I saw that in action, but what's the physics behind all of it? Well, when one curling stone hits another, the second stone goes off in the direction that the first stone was traveling. But when those two stones are touching, or frozen as curlers like to say, that first stone drags the second one along with it in the same direction, and that changes the direction that the second stone moves. I get it now, but how do sweepers play into this? Oh well, when you watch curling in the Olympics, the first thing you notice are the sweepers. Now, when they move their brooms back and forth rapidly across the ice, first of all, they're cleaning off debris, but more importantly, they're warming the ice up just a little bit, which causes a thin layer of water to form on the ice, and that decreases the friction. Sweeping can actually cause a stone to go 10 to 20 feet farther down the ice. That's incredible. Wow, I had no idea how much beauty of physics there were behind curling. I'll be watching for that when Team USA wins the Olympics. Uh, you mean Russia? Hey guys, you know, on that note, it's getting cold, I think we should call it a day.